welcome to Off My Shelves and this is a quick look at the amazing screw on head and other curious objects, the 20th anniversary edition, written by Mike Mignola and published by Dark Horse. Let's get underway. So I missed the original hardback of this. It does come out as a standard size, I think, hardcover, and it was in a trade paperback. But this, as I said, is a 20th anniversary edition, and so this book is actually pretty much library sized edition. It's certainly the same height as the Hellboy library editions, but it's not as wide. And I say that because Hellboy library editions are not as standard in size wise, at least in height and width as normal Dark Horse library editions. There is slight little differences, but it's pretty much oversized and it contains the amazing screw on head. It is sewn binding, it's got a lovely cloth bound spine. So the story of the book revolves around mainly the amazing screw on head. And he is a character that is, you know, fighting evil and all that type of thing. And he's given the job by Abraham Lincoln of taking down Emperor Zombie. And this comic, first and foremost, should be recognized as more of a humorous comic. It's certainly styled and it looks the same as, you know, the Hellboy comics and Mike Mignola's other art, but certainly tonally it's far more light-hearted and far more kind of, you know, funny. It's, it's just meant to be a nice, funny adventure comic, really, more than anything else. I mean, the fact that Abraham Lincoln turns up in the first couple of pages given the amazing screw on head jobs to go out and hunt demons and things like that on his behalf and enemies should tell you all you need to know. But certainly there are large monsters in there. There's everything you would expect from a Mike Mignola comic, but it is certainly more of a humour comic and more light-hearted than normal Hellboy comics, I would say. Now, The Amazing Screw on Head is only about that long in the book overall because it's a short story, pretty much like a one-shot, really. And then the rest of the book is filled with other stories. So you've got a version of Jack and the Beanstalk, for example. You've got stories about magicians. And yeah, so there's about four shorter length stories in you. Then lots of cover art, lots of really good cover art by Mike Mignola. And then at the back, actually, an unpublished curiosity. And I'm not too sure what this is because I haven't read this or seen this before but it's an unpublished story Axor Slayer of Demons but I'm not too sure what that is and then at the back you've got sketchbooks and story notes and things like that all the stuff you would expect from a Mike Mignola oversized Dark Horse edition really but yeah it's an amazingly well made book and I really can't wait to kind of delve into all of the other curious objects as well because even though I've read Mike Mignola's Amazing Screw on Head I haven't read all these other shorter form stories and I love Mike Mignola, art and story, so any extra Mignola art and story is good by me. But that's a quick look at The Amazing Screw on Head by Mike Mignola and published by Dark Horse. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you on the next one.